Hey everyone, Gurky here with Exodus, bringing you another sort of Convalaria video. In this video, we are going to do a character review of Simona. Let me tell you something, she's pretty badass. So let's go through here and uh, take a look at her. So we have, uh, she's, she's disciplined and part of the union. Her trait, let's go check her max level trait. The effect is improved to increases Simona's attack and defense by 15%. When she has a shield, attack and defense are additionally increased by 10% and she becomes too immune to attribute debuffs. At the start of the turn, she gains Armor of Ice, uh, which is uh, physical shield equal to 60% of the caster's magic attack and immunity to frosty tile effects. After being hit by a melee attack, inflicts move, my, move one down on the attack for two turns. If she is dying after being attacked, she immediately gains armor of ice. Can be active, activated up to one time per battle. Uh, activates when HP is below 30. Dying is activates when HP is lower than 30%. Reduces damage dealt by 30%. Increases damage taken by 30%. All right, so let's go over here and check out uh, her skill tree. So over here we have icy blast. Deals 75% AOE damage to the first enemy in each line with a two by three area inflicting speed uh, one down and move one down for two turns knocks the target back two tiles ice cone selects a location and deals 80 percent ice aoe damage to all enemies within a one tile radius of the target location so icy blast uh, is looks like it's going to be the, uh, the the choice here ice assault instant simona selects one tile when they cross shaped range around her and charges to the Location attacking all enemies along the line. She deals ice damage equal to 100% of the physical shield value. Simona gains Warrior Frost for two turns. Reduces damage taken by 30%. Increases the distance the character can move by one tile. When on frosty tiles. Ice made armor. Simona selects a target direction in all allies when a 3x4 area in that direction. In all eyes within all allies within three tiles of the left and right of the tile occupied by Simona gain armor. A vice and a regeneration one for two turns. If she already has armor, vice decreases energy consumption by one point. So this is going to be uh, extremely well for those of you who decide to build her as uh, tanky support. Uh, obviously, uh, ice assault is going to be your choice if you're going to be using her as DPS. This is one of the things I love about her is you can build her um, as either, and she's just as effective. So we have our reactions. Ice shards. After her armor of ice is destroyed, Simone deals 50% magical damage to all enemies within two tiles of her and inflicts move down three on target for one turn. When hit by an active attack from an enemy with move down, damage taken is decreased by 30%. Again, this is going to be your, uh, your, your tanky uh, reaction, and this is going to be your, your DPS. All right, magical damage. Single target attack deals 80% damage and inflicts move down three for two turns. If the target uh, have moved down already, additionally inflicts frozen for two turns. Uh, frozen cannot take any action or be passed through and gains immunity to all physical damage. The effect is disabled upon taking fire AOE damage. Leader's Aura. For all, the Union Allies Battle increases attack by 10% and defense by 20%. Again, we're back to the split, you know, uh, offense, defense skill um and depending on how you de decide or build to build her the the uh the choice is, is obvious for for pretty much all of these all right ice made sword single target attack simona deals 100 percent damage if she's attacking enemies with move down or who are currently on frosty towels the damage she deals is increased by 30 percent then the basic attack deals 80 percent magical damage and inflicts move down one on healthy targets lasting for one turn. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, and say that the Ice Mage Sword, if you have a slot for it, is going to be the uh, the obvious pick. Here we go. Magical damage. Simona deals. Simona selects one tile when they cross shaped range around her. Deals 70% ice damage to all enemies in a 5x3 area. In the target direction, Simona summons an ice wall in the center in the three center tiles. If a tile is occupied, she inflicts frozen on the target for one turn. Pretty cool down one turn. 
This is absolutely massive. Absolutely massive. Let me just tell you right now, you pair her up with Alexi, you will not be disappointed. Will to survive. If the character is dying, at the start of the turn, recover 50% HP and energy too. Again, you can build her pure tank support. Uh, you can build her as an offensive unit. I've, I've actually completed uh, quite a few battles with her. Um, just testing her out. And let me tell you something. She is absolutely amazing. All right, so what are we going to do for gear? Again, this is going to all depend on how you build her. Obviously, if you're going to build her tanky, you're going to want, you know, um, HP, uh, defense, status immunes, and, and things like that. Um, uh, diffusing Prism. Uh, if you're building her as offense, has uh, some additional uh, bonus attacks for uh, AoE. As you can tell, if you build her AoE, or if you build her offensively, you're going to have AoE attacks. Uh, Resentment Broom is, is not bad at all. Skeleton Staff isn't too bad if you're building her as, as a tank. And uh, the Starry Sky Heritage. Again, anything uh, that goes in line with, with how you're building her. What do we have for trinkets over here? That's not bad. Luxite shield can be can be uh, used as a as a tank build. She doesn't do strike back. She's not going to be by herself. Shroud of Void can be used if you're using her as defense. There's a lot of, um, there are a lot of options for this. Let's go check out some Taros. I, th I think the Fool's Nave, uh, Naivety is going to be a, a good one for you uh, defensive builds. Same thing with Silence the Hermit. We don't really care about crit with her. Dire of Temperance. Um, shields are always always nice. Dream of the Magician is also good because she has uh, AOE and you're going to be hitting multiple targets. You just want to go through here and and, uh, and build her according to how you uh, how you plan on using her. Again, I, I was playing with Simone and Alexi, Alexi together. And uh, I had an absolute blast uh, playing with them as a combo because they're both frost units, and they uh, both can util utilize the, uh, the the frosty tiles. So yeah, listen, man, she she she's good. This is definitely, uh, in my opinion, this is going to be a, a summon uh, for when the uh, banner comes out. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace.